So, hello, one time I see, uh, I decided I need some inner piece, so I've uh, decided to make a small uh, Zen garden for my workshop. And because I can't with my equipment uh, carve in the wood, I have just really quick uh, bought uh, such wood and just uh, cut some of these things. And my idea is just to to glue them as this. Then uh, I will uh, make them black. Uh, this thing I have already some uh, th these are sea stones from the Black Sea I hope they will they will look great I still haven't found uh, any nice sand or uh, real small gravel to put inside so this is the main idea I will later try to carve a little statue probably of Buddha I'm not a Buddhist I'm actually an Orthodox Christian but it will be fun to to carve something for the first time and I'll just make uh, videos of it so you see the process for my first try in carving okay let's glue these parts together See, I've glued and clamped everything. Mm, you can see that there's some glue here or there, but uh, I don't like the, the brownish color of this one, so everything will be uh, cleaned up with uh, sandpaper, like a sheet, sandpaper like a sponge, and then will be uh, refinished with another color. So that's for now. I have to wait till the glue uh, sticks everything together. So we are already in the next day and I'm here to check if everything is glued together. I really hope it is. I've already prepared my uh, sanding uh, equipment. I was thinking to do it by hand with these, but <clears throat> I'll try to do it just with uh, grind. I don't know what's the, the name. It's something like something grinder. I guess. So I think everything is okay. It's good together. We just have to remove some of the uh, goo which is outside and prepare the surface for the towering. Okay. I will try to use this one with uh, this small sandpaper for these edges right here and for the glue outside so I hope the noise won't be too much I'll start with a normal speed and at some point I'll uh, change the video to a time lapse so enjoy
standard sandpaper because I think it will be more effective yeah. okay switching to time wops So I've uh, really fast checked the name of the, the tool I was trying to use and it was a detail sander but the Audi and Goldie uh, hand sandpaper uh, was doing the job pretty well so now I will try to cover with this which will let me check if there is an English nope it says just it's for covering of uh, natural woods for interior and exterior places so I'll try to find something really fast so I can try to keep my working bench at least not multi covered I hope this, this will be a solution something like this the opener I've modded you can check the the video on my account So I'm not totally sure how I'll manage to put the paint, so I think I'll need a cup and something like a sponge. Let me let me check for a sponge somewhere. Anyways, I can take just a row of kitchen towel, I think, because uh, I've tried a long time ago and this was the original color as this one and I've just painted and you can see the result, but I think one or two hands will make really deep, nice color. So. Check how it will go. If this goes well, I'll again switch to time waps. Yeah, I think this will work. But probably I will leave it to dry and after that I'll try to apply another uh, in Bulgarian we say hands when you when you paint something you put one hand then the second hand on top of it I'm not sure how's the, the this in English but I hope you can understand what I'm trying to do now and I think the, 
this with the paper tower is working just fine for the situation i'm not trying to make it look to look super professional i'm just trying to make something for me and you know that all the small imperfections of something uh, are what are making the thing let's say personal or with a character so I don't mind a few scuffs here or there or or the paint not to be super precise you can see the difference uh, where I haven't sanded the wood from the previous uh, covering and from the spray whacker you can see that uh, it's not uh, taking as good the paint I know that uh, a lot of you that are uh, somehow uh, seeing my videos are knowing this but I'm explaining this for all the uh, normal normal people that are not uh, in the workshop every day that uh, uh, can't figure out uh, this that uh, the, the wood should be uh, sanded first to a fine grid or to a larger grain grid anyways it, it looks nice I think I'm not sure why I'm I'm doing the, the bottom because it won't be seen but uh, at, at some things person should always aim for uh, for a good result after all because yes I'm doing it for me but I want to know that it's it's done properly after all and this thing smells really it's not smell it's not smelling like a paint for let's say wall, wall paint or something it smells more like a nail polish uh, nail 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 lacquer but yeah probably uh, after this is uh, dried I will apply another another hand of the, the paint on top of it I still haven't found proper sun but maybe I'll try to research a bit more for it today and I'm really hoping that uh, I will make this uh, Zen garden as per the traditions in Japan because I know that there are some traditions, there are some rules when making uh, Zen garden. So uh, I I want to double check for the sand, what kind of sand it should be. I've checked really fast, and it was uh, uh, the info was that it should be a really small gravel or white sand and I'll see what I'll find okay I think for now before this is dried out we're finished so I'll just leave this to dry for now I also a bit of uh, update since yesterday uh, this is a hundred percent dried now as you can see there are some places where I haven't been polished the, the original uh, wood and it has some lack of color there I will put another hand of, uh, of the same 
paints and uh, probably that's gonna be because I, I, I don't care a hundred percent if it's going to be uh, super black or black with some accents I, I will just make it look as I, I feel it has to be okay also really quick I wanna tell you uh, what I'm going to do uh, I, I told you that I'm going to make a, something like a pitchfork a pitchfork sorry uh, so I've bought a small piece of uh, plywood or something uh, which is uh, you know good together some uh, pieces I decided to cut it to uh, to be able to be sure that the piece will be one part once once I, I use it so here's an actual piece that I'm going to use you can see that it's glued right here I'm not sure if I'll be able to to snap it like the big one but Okay, no, it's it's not a problem for me since uh, the thing I'm going to do is just to take body from here to here. Let's say I will use this part where I will add the the teeth of the pitchfork, and I hope to look good after all these things I'm making this is where it's good so I will be able to know where to stop let me grab just a sharper pencil okay so this will be the front part and it is three point uh, one two three almost four so right about here is the center in the center I'll just take let's say one centimeter and then just make like this I hope to look really good once I'm, I'm ready with this Okay, let's say something like this. This will be the handle. I will cut right from here so I can have surface where I will put the the, the teeth of the pitchfork. And now onto it. So I have. four centimeter so from here here
Well, something like this. And... Is it going to happen like this? Because we should have at least one centimeter on top. And I barely have it, so better, better to mark where I, I should do this. Yeah. Second try. And let's go to the capo. So really quick, I wanna tell you uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I told you that I'm going to make a, something like a pitchfork. A pitchfork, sorry. Uh, so I've bought a small piece of uh, plywood or something, uh, which is, uh, you know, good together. Some, pieces I decided to cut it to uh, to be able to be sure that the piece will be one part once once I, I use it so here's an actual piece that I'm going to use you can see that it's glued right here I'm not sure if I'll be able to to snap it like the big one, but okay, no, it's it's not a problem for me since uh, the thing I'm going to do is just to take body from here to here. Let's say I will use this part where I will add the the teeth of the pitchfork. And I hope to look good after all these things I'm making. This is where it's good, so I will be able to know where to stop. Big rock, just a sharper pencil. Okay, so this will be the front part, and it is three point uh, two three almost four. So right about here is the center. In the center I'll just take let's say one centimeter and then just make like this I hope to look really good once I'm, I'm ready with this Okay, let's say something like this. This will be the handle. I will cut right from here so I can have surface where I'll put the 
<sighs> the, the thief, the pitchfork, and now onto it. So I have. Four centimeter. So from here, here. Well, something like this, and is it going to happen like this? Because we should have at least one centimeter on top, and I barely have it, so better, better to mark where I I should do this. Yeah second try And let's go to the computer marketing equipment. Uh, let's try to make it.
just snapped. Well, okay. But probably I'll be able just to use it like this. So it won't be a problem, I guess. Yeah, let's let's clean this. Looks pretty nice. Okay. Actually, I was thinking that this is too thick, so I will just thinner it up. I can do is that I can use this woodworking watt and it will be my actually first time and I would just need to draw the to find the center of this and we'll give it a go I hope some machinists I won't uh, have lots of uh, laugh when uh, they see me with my work but as I've said it will be my one of my first tries so I know I'm not really good at it at least I, I know that I can f I should find the center of the piece so it rotates nicely okay i'll just attach it to the lat and we'll shoot you a video okay <laughs> well that's a fail <laughs> let me let me plug it somewhere
as I've said, I'm not really good at it. So I'll probably just try and we'll shoot you once I'm done what I've done. To be honest, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with what I've done. So I've used uh, a bit of scotch paper and for these I've used this shape too. And it looks nice, I guess. For for uh, first try, I think it's it's good enough. And then the ends and the bounce home. So I guess we are almost in the final. Just had to shape a bit of this, uh, a little bit this in the belt somewhere. up the teeth let me just find the right tool really fast since I'm not really aware where it is oh. the towel cutter I think it would have been nice to do it that way I think every maker has such a box with so many parts it faster on the belt. <clears throat> Much better.
not ideally perfect, but that's what I'm aiming for. So a uh, quick uh, run on the, the belt sander to, uh, to straighten up the, the teeth. Okay, so now I will just uh, run it a couple of times here. Okay. This is so I can uh, apply the, the paint as the other ones. why the one side was really quick and the other is taking so much time and I just need uh, a nail and that will be ready and the handle I guess I run, oh, sorry about this. I run from the end of the handle to the belt grinder. have to find a nail so we can attach these two parts uh, I have some nails here but Anyways, I will just use the smallest ones that I have. So. I think one nail will do the trick. should I do it? Uh, I will try this way. Let me measure. So I can at least know where the center is. can do it this way.
I want sorry for the slow work but I really want to be in the middle something nice at least something like this I guess so I think it looks really nice. Okay. So now to the paint. This is the paint as the, the last time, the same paint. I'll just leave it for uh, one more minute to soak it and I'll need to do it that way after that I'll just uh, put the paint back inside okay I decided just to take it out from here and to leave it to dry over here. Okay, now putting the paint back and I'll come back to show you everything put together.